Welcome back, gents and gentlemen. If you watched my Big Hero 6 video, then you probably already guessed it. That's right, Frozen is going to be the very next video. I put as many of your requests on the screen behind me that would fit. Find these five hidden Easter eggs and include hashtag Frozen in your comment, and I will randomly pick a winner to get your very own Anna and Elsa Snowflake Waffle Maker. <laughs> Waffles not included. Since we just got done talking about Big Hero 6, let's start off with the Easter eggs from Big Hero 6. <laughs> Look at this painting right here on Anna and Elsa's little castle hallway, and you will recognize that painting is the same painting in Fred's house on his wall. How'd that happen? Now several people are saying that that pile of candy looks a lot like an Easter egg to Sugar Rush, the video game in Wreck-It Ralph. Now I do have to say though, I don't think that's true. Now you can disagree if you want, that's totally cool. But I see no resemblance besides the fact that both use cream filled chocolate, which is pretty common for candy. But if you want to make that a reference to Wreck-It Ralph, we might as well go all out and say that this is a reference to Peter Pan. He's crazy. We already know from my Zootopia video that the seal of Arendelle that could be found throughout the entire video was in Zootopia on the plates. Ah. Frozen is one of the new type of Disney films where the princess is not saved by her wonderful prince. And she actually saves herself, essentially. So, of course, this is going to be a reference to a famous lady that you learned about in history class, Joan of Arc. Hang in there, Joan. Born with the powers of cursed. Uh, born. If Elsa was born with the power of frostbite, why wasn't Anna born with the same power? Or maybe Anna was born with a different type of power and she just doesn't know it yet. Elsa has white hair and she can make snow and snow is white. So maybe since Anna's hair is red and fire is red, maybe she can make fire. I did not need to know that. Here we see Mickey on the door handle. Maybe. If you squint your eyes and tilt your head a little bit, maybe. Okay, okay, I know that one's a stretch. So let's point out some undeniably real Mickeys. Most people are way too busy loving the song Do You Want to Build a Snowman to recognize an entire Mickey Mouse was hanging out in the corner on the bookshelf. <laughs> Also, when Anna turns into a human popsicle and goes into the Wandering Oaks trading post and sauna, we see another complete Mickey Mouse buried on top of the shelf for sale. I'll take two. There's only one. Oh, wait. Hang on. You getting something? Also, if you didn't know this already, inside all the Disney theme parks, they actually hide Mickey Mouses all over the place. Oh, thank goodness. Just because a guy gives you that do you trust me look does not mean that you can trust him. Unless of course they have a magic flying carpet, then in that case you probably can trust them. Do you trust me? Yes. Yes, that guy's wearing sunglasses and there's an eyeglass shop right there. And no, that's not weird at all actually, because Frozen took place in early 1800s and it's believed that sunglasses go back as far as the early 1400s. You probably already know this by now, but on Elsa's coronation day we see Rapunzel and Flynn were on the guest list. Inside the castle we also see some other guests that resemble some other princesses. Like that one looks like Princess Tiana from Princess and the Frog. And that one kind of looks like Cinderella from Cinderella. Survey time! In case you didn't already know this, Frozen 2 has been scheduled to release in November 2019. So today's question is this. Who do you think the villain will be? Hans, the Duke of Weaselton, Marshmallow and his little army, or someone we haven't even met yet? I think it's safe to say that none of us like Hans. And being that he has 12 older brothers, that makes him unlucky number 13. But if there was no Hans, then Kristoff wouldn't be looking as awesome as he does. If you didn't already know this, Olaf is an easter egg to Beauty and the Beast. How's that, you ask? Yeah, why? Olaf is voiced by Josh Gad. Yeah, why? Well, in the new movie Beauty and the Beast, Josh Gad plays Gaston's right-hand man, LaFou. 
Yeah, why? How does this work? Ow! Stop it, Sven. Trying to focus here. Yeah, why? Well, get this. LaFu in the original cartoon Beauty and the Beast was a snowman. <laughs> They're back. Summer! <laughs> Olaf finally gets to see what summer is all about, with the help of Elsa's little clown, of course. But in his little sing-along, we see a few Easter eggs. This version of the snowman is the copper tune sunscreen baby. And who else dances with a bunch of birds like that? You guessed it, Bert from Mary Poppins. <laughs> You know, I was thinking that Anna's horse is spooked quite easily, especially with horses like Philip, you know, Belle's horse, or Maximus, the horse from Tangled. All those horses, it took a lot to scare them. But if you think about it, Anna never really leaves the castle until recently, so this might have been the very first time the horse ever left the castle. So that would explain why it gets spooked pretty easily. That looks a lot like Brother Bear, and if you look at the little cuckoo clock, that looks like our friendly little Baymax up there. Another crazy little Easter egg idea that's roaming the internet is that this guy right here is Mikey from Monsters, Inc. Now don't get me wrong, that would be a super cool Easter egg to have, but it's actually a carving of one of the trolls. This guy clearly has seen trolls before, or at least he's heard a lot about them. He sells troll figurines, he sells troll walking sticks, he even has a giant troll carving on his porch. Two to be exact. The one mistake they made in the movie was when Elsa is singing, she magically makes her hair go through her arm. But it's still a great movie, obviously. If you watch my Moana video, then you already know that our not so friendly, friendly snow giant made an appearance there. And yes, it was Marshmallow and not Godzilla. What if you hate the way he picks his nose? Picks his nose? And eats it. Excuse me, sir, he is a prince. All men do it. Ew! And for the record, not all men eat their own burgers. And Disney wanted to stress that point at the end. If you watch through the credits, you'll see the disclaimer they put in there. In the video I did about Sing, I hid five of my very own Easter eggs in there. If you want to try to find the Easter eggs on your own, then you probably want to stop watching now and go watch Sing and then try to find the five hidden Easter eggs. Because here we go. And the winner of this limited edition a Sing a Blu-ray and DVD is Swagster705. Congratulations! Send me a private message of where you want me to send it to you. Thanks for hanging out with me again. I hope I could freeze the smile onto your face. It helps a lot when you click that thumbs up button. And have a great day. But most importantly, remember, gents and gentlets, share a smile. They are contagious. Hey, share a smile. They're contagious. Can you imagine a day without smiling? That would be outrageous. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with Crazy Nate. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if he left you feeling great. Have fun and we'll see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe. Some people are worth melting for.